Oh, oh my god, look, that's look. it. What, They're reacting. Happening? Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that. girl. Breathe. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to more Starfield. This is Hill. I have to say, this game is starting to grow on me. Starting to get addictive. Starting to enjoy it. So, let's see what we've got here in the bathroom. Well, hey there, irate pirates. Looks like you finally did it. Boarded my ship, scrapped my bot. Rip those beautiful brown eyes out of my adorably cherubic face. And then you discovered the guy you had pegged as a treasure hunter doesn't actually have any treasure. Not anymore. It's true. I may have had a pricey trinket or two when I evaded your sorry asses at Kumazi, but brother had to buy fuel. So you get nothing except my ghost. Because I am going to haunt your asses till the end of your days. Which, for a Crimson Fleet pirate, is about, what, uh, another week? <laughs> Alright, so we have left the moon, planet, Crete. We encountered our first terror morph at level 2 and killed it. So you might want to check out our last video if you haven't already. And let's go ahead and continue with the mission, One Small Step. Centuri. What? All right, it must be. All right, Vasco, I'm prepping the grab jump. several places we could land. Since I don't have any bullets left after facing that Terramorph, I think we better get to the city so I can get some more. All right, here we go.
told that was pretty smooth for somebody without piloting skills. The ship pretty much does all the work. Your new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Uh, I don't know if my ship needs repairs or not. I hope not. Where did you say I could sell things? The trade authority runs a vending kiosk next to my booth. It's just off to the side near the ramp. Besides that, Jemison Mercantile is your closest shop if you're looking for a bit of everything. That's further in, past the security checkpoint. Where can I go if I need more crew for my ship? I would try the viewport. It'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. Alright, thank you. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. sell from the ship inventory. Excellent. Let's see here. things. Let's see. I should have more resources. resources in, in your ship. Even if you're a distance away. Apparently not. Vasco, I think we need to get to uh, Constellation. This unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments. Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city, 
we can take it directly to the Mast District. Alright, let's do that then. relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. We just need to convince her that President right. Abeo is It looks like it's over this way. You know, you ought to be out in front. I think you have been here before. You should show me how to get there. Constellation is an entirely neutral entity, and always has been. All right, good to know. Thank you. Here we are, the lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Baron gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Okay, thank you. Captain Hill. Everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. Mm, I can't put this thing down. Oh well. Let's go. Don't like this. I'm banning wages. I'm serious. We'll play nice. Just we appear to have a visitor. Oh, good. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Do we now? Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Um, what which friend are you referring to? Who are you? Sarah Morgan. Chair of Constellation. Oh, the chair. Okay. That means anything you discussed with Barrett is my business. Now, if you would please answer my question. Um, well, pirates attacked and Barrett asked me to deliver the artifact. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements what? made have been liar. factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, I've got questions for you, lady. How many times has this happened? Who else has had these visions? We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Why? We're not sure yet. So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. Okay, well, it was bright lights and music. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Mm, you're so British. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Country, if you expect us to believe in fairy If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. All right. If I have to. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, look, that's look, it. Look, they're reacting. Happening. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that... girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godfrey? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Uh, um, let's see now. So, you want me in Constellation? What does that mean? What's expected? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. How much do you know about the artifacts? What are they? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal, another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building, well... You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. I'm just a soldier. An ex-soldier. And a miner. But alright, I'm in. Tell me what happens next. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Oh, really? Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? Oh, really? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Nice. As much as I love uncovering the questions, I love the answers. Okay, what is it, Noel? That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noel. It's really nice to meet you. You too. And thank you for bringing the artifact to You're us. You're welcome. You seem to know a lot about these artifacts. Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's... That's flattering, but really, we're making this up as we go. Really? Until you arrived, we only had the two, and the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. 
there's still so much we don't know. And that means a lot of work ahead of us. The vision I saw. What do you think that was? Oh, right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded Hello. neural input, your brain's attempt to make sense of something, an energy surge, some other phenomenon. Just checking in. So there's a reasonable explanation. All systems are There might be a reasonable explanation. I wasn't there. I didn't see what you saw. I'm just not in a position to say for sure. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, oh, we can Barrett. know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Just the two of us it's happened to. I was wondering about other types of exploration work besides the artifacts. Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Hmm, okay. How long have you been working on all this? Well, Constellation's been around forever, more than 50 years now. But we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. All right, well, Sarah said something about a place for me to stay. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Good. Yeah, I'm kind of in between jobs right now. All right, lead the way. Have you talked to Vladimir recently? Face to face, I mean? Uh, Noel. Let me know how I can help you learn more. Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition. I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of, if you're gonna be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. Okay, organic stuff, got it. There's a galaxy chock full of resources. The more data I have, the more thorough an analysis I can do. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. All right, I've got some organic resources for you. Anything I can learn from is a help. I hope I do. <laughs> what happened to the, the alien DNA that I picked up off the Terramorph? So, will she take this? Any of this stuff? Okay. Stay safe, okay? Can I get my tour now? Walter, you don't have to answer this, but I was wondering something. You sure spend a lot of time on Constellation business. Doesn't Issa miss you? Ah, yes, well. My wife and I have something of an understanding. I have been informed that when I am home, I remain preoccupied with Constellation's work, which renders me cantankerous. My darling Issa has concluded that it is in both of our best interests if I could spend my time working from the lodge as often as possible. Huh. Well, if it works for you. 
lately, We've always considered I find myself spending more and more time. But this here. really is uncharted territory. Business isn't has it? appealed to me, but this is exciting. Why do I get the feeling I'm not gonna get the tour? Well, Cartridge, you know good any priceless antiquities like that? Too much to do around here, you know? I wasn't born. Yesterday, you know. I bet you have your eye on something. It's been quieter around here if ever since Vladimir know, went to live on the eye full time. There's rumors of an 18th century English translation okay. of the Bhagavad Gita that I was following. See you later. On. Let me know how it turns out. All right, I'll give myself the tour then, I guess. Let me. I feel talk like I've been people. waiting my whole life for this. Constellation, the artifacts. That doesn't sound crazy, does it? Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Matteo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. Good, you can call me Hill. These artifacts all came out of caves. Second one was on Kazal. Buried, the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? What do you make of the vision I saw? I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but you know, if the label fits. So you think it was some kind of a religious experience not necessarily no but it does kind of have the hallmarks of one doesn't it i'm certainly not going to rule it out just yet well all i know is i've never experienced anything like it that sure lines up with everything else about these artifacts it's all connected we're going to get to the bottom of this we just need more data which means more artifacts and what brought you to Constellation? Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. Hmm. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common and I was invited to join Constellation. Okay. Take care of yourself. Yeah, good talk. <laughs> well, you, I suppose that Walter. station in orbit has more than paid for itself at this point. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. A bit. I've been called worse, though. Still doesn't excuse it. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and oft-times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. I'd say more oft than not. I hope the drinks are at least free. Yes, well, a stocked bar is a treat I think Constellation can afford. For now. But if you clean us out, you're on your own. <laughs> By the way, in addition to a place to stay, 
The Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. All right, thank you. So, what's your role here in Constellation? Me? <laughs> Yeah, well, you. I'm the wallet. Oh. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And, as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. Hmm, all right. Do you think the vision I had means anything? Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? <laughs> uh... Well, perfectly healthy as far back as I can remember. Hmm. I'll take your word on that. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. Tell me, what kind of company is Stroud Eklund? We're most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covet them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. This isn't where I would expect to find a CEO. Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now, I call the Lodge home, as much as anywhere else. All right, good talk. Goodbye. Ask if you've got questions. Speak up if you have ideas. We're all here for the same reason. Thank you. Still not getting my tour, am I? Hey. Don't hate me. Mm, a sandwich. Oh, look here. A constellation guide permanently reduces fall damage by 5%. Thank you. Locked. Okay. And I have the key. All right, this must be the lab. Spacesuit workbench. I can even modify a spacesuit. That's nice. Wait, is this? Yes. Much needed med pack.
this isn't going to be my room down here. there was some way to loot this uh, space suit, apparently. Things have changed. The well. some place that's gonna have like creatures and stuff in it. some kind of a maze. What is this? Oh, no. Oh, here's the bar. Ready to get to work? Or was there something else? What do you know about the artifacts? Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. How well known is Constellation? I don't know what you've heard, but I can Nothing. imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. 
Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. What is Constellation? What do you do? We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. Well, I would like some time to get settled, and I wish I could get that tour. I understand. You've been through a lot. Just let me know when. Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. The These tour. People, I know everyone's excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible and be aware of... Stay safe, okay? All right, I'm not getting it. You've okay. You've got something for me? Um... We're just at the beginning of this mystery, and you're going to be there for it. All right, I, I'm... Um... I guess I'm ready. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. The UC Vanguard? A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies' space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. Other people have the artifacts. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. All right, well, I, I, I have to admit I'm excited. My first mission. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when I wouldn't you know go that you're far. about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Okay. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Understood. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? <laughs>